It is April 6th, my brother's birthday, and we're going over to my parents' house tonight to grill out. We were gonna bring veggie burgers, but my mom actually said she's making veggie burgers, so score. Oh, hi. <laughs> you got some fruit, baked beans, salad, cashew cheese dip. Mom made the veggie burgers. What's in the veggie burgers, mom? You're gonna put me on the spot. <laughs> We've got lentils, quinoa, black beans, sweet potatoes. Sounds delish. I got myself my burger, veggies galore, sweet fries, and cheese dip for the win. Well, do you want to make your debut on our YouTube video? <laughs> 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 Hi, Grandma. You're on camera. <laughs> so cute. They win it. Okay, you guys. So you saw a little bit of footage from my brother's birthday party. None of our family is plant-based. Nobody's vegan. In fact, most of the time, it's just a bunch of elbow jabs from my dad giving us a hard time asking us if we've eaten a steak in the past week. <laughs> that being said, a lot of you guys have asked us, okay, what do I do when I'm around family and friends and wanna be social? I wanna go out to restaurants, I wanna travel, I wanna do these things, but it's so hard when you're vegan and plant-based. I don't wanna feel judged, I don't wanna feel left out, and ultimately, I want to be able to enjoy my life. So we're gonna give you guys our top seven ways to be social and be vegan. Number one is pre-eat. So I'm always grabbing and going so that no matter where I'm out the door to, whatever they have or don't have for me to eat, I'm already fueled on something that I enjoy from home. Okay guys, number two, share the wealth. So if there's not gonna be anything for you, bring something amazing and make it good, then other people will want it too. And if they do, you might even transition them. You might even get them to want or ask for your food later. Okay, so maybe you're not going to a friend's house or a social gathering at a home, but you're going out to a restaurant. Yes, hold the burger patty, salad, dressing on the side, hold the croutons, hold the cheese, and hold the chicken. <laughs> Is that cheesy? Okay. So things can get a little bit more tricky to navigate if you don't want to be the picky vegan at the table. So what we've always done is maybe you pull the waiter aside or maybe you just, instead of saying, hey, I'm vegan, everybody's gonna stare at me awkwardly now, instead maybe just say, hey, I'm lactose intolerant or I have a food allergy, um, I can't do this or this. That could be one other easy way to navigate the waters and not have to feel so uncomfortable. But if I'm being quite honest, my number one way to navigate restaurants is to simply rock it. <laughs> so I'm not as concerned anymore about being the picky vegan. In fact, I rock it. I order a customized salad or whatever it is that I'm into. A lot of times the chefs enjoy making something nutritious and delicious that's not on the menu. They have fun getting creative and more, more often than not, my mom, Dusty's mom, our siblings will say, what was that? I didn't see that on the menu. I want what you got. <laughs> so I say just rock it. Number four, order sides or order from the kids menu. So when we go to restaurants, I'll often order just like some rice, some beans, a sweet potato or a regular baked potato. Before you know it, you order four or five sides and it looks like a Thanksgiving feast on your plate. Like no joke. Again, these are the foods that we eat at home. They're all side dishes, right? You can't lose if you just order sides. Number five, host your own gathering. Maybe you're not going to a friend's house. Maybe you're not going out to dinner. Host your own gathering. Don't let people be afraid to come over. In fact, wow them with your menu. So this is the perfect opportunity to make a few recipes that can ease people into getting excited about this lifestyle too. We're not trying to convert people, but we are trying to be able to be social and help people to realize that you're not eating alien food. <laughs> On that note, with hosting comes educating and inspiring. You have to be able to educate and inspire those around you and hosting is a perfect way to do that. And then while you're hosting, be there showing people how you eat the way you eat 
tell them why you eat the way you eat. And like Aaron said before, you might actually be the start of a slow journey for them or maybe a fast journey for them in actually converting to your diet. So don't be afraid to educate and inspire. So when your dad gives you a hard time at the restaurant for ordering the bean sprout quesadilla instead of the juicy, gooey hamburger, just explain to them that raw foods are living foods. Life produces life. <laughs> And our seventh and final tip is to be the light, be compassionate. Don't be the militant, judgy vegan. Walk the walk, encourage, inspire. Try not to be preachy, instead just lead by example. Be compassionate. People will want you around, they will want to spend time with you, they won't feel intimidated by you. Everybody wins. So I'm just chopping up three different varieties of sweet potatoes. This is a Japanese yam, it's white inside. I've also got a Hannah potato, which is also a sweet potato that's white on the outside and white on the inside, and then just your classic garnet yams. I am also soaking some cashews. I'm gonna make my cashew cheese dip to go along with it. It's gonna be amazing. This is Mesa Sunrise. It is USDA organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, by Nature's Path Organic. This is like our favorite cereal. So it's basically just like frosted flakes, except not frosted and super healthy. And I just melted some vegan chocolate chips really quick, very low temperature. And now I'm mixing it into the cereal. And then I think I'm gonna drizzle some peanut butter in there and then some hemp and coconut flakes and then pop this bad boy in the freezer. You have to have it like super frozen cold. My brother is going to enjoy this. <laughs> hemp seeds in the mix. For me though, this is like the splurge of the month, but it's gonna be so, so good. When you're going to a grill out and you don't drink, especially since I'm breastfeeding and or if you're pregnant or you just don't like alcohol, whatever the case may be, I probably won't drink alcohol ever again. Honestly, at this point, it's been a year. I don't need it anymore, so Bring kombucha with you. Dr. Brew is a great brand that's not overly sweet or sugary. Really love it. This love one is good. There's also a cayenne one that's really awesome. Bring this with if you want something to sap on while other people are imbibing and you don't want to feel left out. And here is our vegan cashew cheese dip. I know I've made this in a couple of different YouTube videos. It doesn't have its own dedicated recipe video, but it's such a good staple. If you are getting away from dairy and cheese in general, this is incredible. So let us know in the comments below if you guys want a dedicated vegan cheesy dip recipe. I'm thinking you guys are gonna like this one. So I blended us up some berry smoothies. There's strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, bananas, and some chocolate protein, Sun Warrior, as usual. We're gonna hit the road and head to the B-Day party. Are you ready? <laughs> Come on, give me that smile. Yeah, there it is. We're ready to go, aren't we? Sit, sit, shake. Good boy. Let's go get you a pup treat. These are breath bones. And if you guys are interested in trying this vegan dog food brand, you know the drill. Eat, move, rest is the discount code and the link is in the description. Number one rule, Pre never leave the house undercarbed. So we make smoothies like it's going out of style. This one's just got all kinds of mixed frozen berries and frozen bananas and then some chocolate Sun Warrior protein powder. You guys can use the discount code linked below. It is Eat Move Rest. You'll get a sweet discount. Sun Warrior is our seriously favorite because it's all raw and it's organic. It's even gluten free, the Warrior blend. So never leave the house under carb. Myself up, painted the scene I'm they got my queen bee swinging to my sauna as I lay by. It's how I want it. In a minute, she rose something that stink good. Feeling haunted the way she goes, and I make eye contact. Both of our tummies making the same tune. Heat up the grill, and we filling up with the same food. She a temper, she fitted with Adidas, a size nine. Somehow, we'll be feeling like we the same shoe. Damn. She